I had the opportunity to follow my friend Trey through some runs on the Rogue River last weekend. And Trey is really a good cat candy caster. And what, if you watch him, you will see that he uses his hands properly during the sweep, which is to get both hands involved and keep the top hand in front of your face, which he does an excellent job of. He puts a little push in the bottom hand for the sweep, complementing it with the top hand. The top hand's got to be involved. You just don't want to move your arms real far back. You got to use your elbows and your hands for skagit casting. That works the best. I got a chance to follow him through some runs and video him. He was using a TFO BVK, which I also got to cast and it was a super sweet rod. I was really impressed. I had an opportunity to follow Trey through some runs. He was casting his TFO BVK six weight. I believe it's 12 foot eight. Super sweet rod. I cast a 4D rain compact gadget head on airflow. It was just dandy. He used a commando groove that was supplied to me by OPST. And that thing just shot lasers. It, I'm very impressed with this rod. I really enjoyed videoing him. His hard work paid off. We fished for two days straight. He finally caught a really hot hatchery fish, which he bonked. I, of course, got skunked, which is what I do. One problem I've seen on the rivers is guys not having active hands for their sweep. So they'll start down here and then use both hands to, to come around and throw their arms back like this and, and then pause and let the deep loop sag and then hammer the cast. So what helps is to have really active hands, meaning we want to after we set our anchor, we want to push with our bottom hand and rotate around our top hand like that and bend the rod right here. Put that, take the, slap, take the slack out of the D loop by sweeping using both hands to bend the rod. We don't want to move our hands back like this, our hand in front of our face, push with our bottom. And when we push with our bottom and use this top hand as the fulcrum on the cast, it bends the rod. It gives us a little pizzazz in our V loop or D loop. So we're not getting slack in the V loop. We want it to be tight. You can either give it a little oomph and then relax and slow down and, and cast, or you can time it so you sweep around and come around more or less in a continuous motion. The important thing is keeping slack out of the V-loop, keeping our hands active, okay? And then if we use our bottom hand during the sweep, we're more likely to use it in the forward cast.